CataractCoach.com. If you have a dense central endonucleus, you should always do hydrodelineation. Look at this eye. In the center there, you see the delineation already of the dense part of the nucleus. This patient has a dense central nuclear sclerotic changes, which have caused a myopic shift and, of course, poor vision. So that central part of the nucleus is very dense, whereas the periphery of the nucleus is a lot softer. And so when we do our surgery here, we want to separate out that dense central endonucleus. And that's going to be removed very easily with the phaco probe in the chopper, while the rest of the epinuclear shell is going to serve as a barrier. And then that can be aspirated out of the eye with essentially no uh, phaco energy. So we're completing our capsulorexis, aiming for about a five or five and a half millimeter capsulorexis so that it overlaps our optic. And that looks great. The patient will get hydrodissection as well as hydrodelineation. So hydrodissection is our typical move. And here we go, there's the hydrodissection, fluid waves going across the lens. And now here's the delineation coming right now. And that's the golden ring of hydrodelineation. There it is again. When you see that golden ring sign, you know you've delineated the endonucleus away from the epinucleus. A little extra viscoelastic there to protect the central corneal endothelium. We'll put our phaco probe in the eye along with the chopper. So here's the probe, here's the chopper, high vacuum, high flow mode. Gonna buzz into that central endonucleus, place the chopper as well, buzz in there, chop around the endonucleus, and split. You notice we didn't have to pass the chopper around to the equator of the nucleus, we just passed it around that endonuclear piece. Another chop, and we can remove the endonuclear pieces now. So we did one chop to divide it in halves, and then one half was then split into two quarters. We're now using the phaco probe just to remove that. Key here, just keeping the, the nuclear piece in front of the phaco tip. Taking our time with this. This is a little bit denser than we expected, so we have to increase our phaco energy or just be patient with the phaco probe. So about half the nucleus has been removed. And we'll go ahead and finish this. And then we can phaco aspirate the last piece. Now there's still a nice epinuclear shell that's there, keeping the poster capsule back and giving us a barrier or a cushion as we operate. So we'll move the last little bits of nuclear pieces first, the endonuclear pieces, and then we can just use the vacuum to aspirate out the epinuclear shell. So the epinuclear shell is just a vacuum, and we bring it up and we flip it over, and taking our time, we'll be able to remove that whole epinuclear shell with the phaco probe. At this point, we're not using any energy. There's no ultrasound. We're only in position two. We're just aspirating through the larger bore of the phaco tip. Chopper in protective mode. And let's go to the end of the case. The rest of the case proceeds as, as usual. Everything looks great. Here we go. Beautiful result. Nice capsorexis overlapping our optic. And this patient has a beautiful outcome. So next time you have a patient with a dense central endonucleus, be sure you do hydrodelineation to separate that out, and that'll make life a lot easier. Thank you for watching.